All right, here we go with the third and final gameplay of the day and also the final Black Ops 3 beta gameplay to ever be uploaded on my channel. Welcome to my Call of Duty gaming channel. I am Nessinator. If you guys are just visiting the channel for the first time, I did upload three videos today, Thursday, November 5th, leading up to the midnight release of Black Ops 3. I will put those videos links down in the description below. Hopefully you guys will check those out as well. In this final video, uh, the gameplay that you guys are watching first off is me using the X2 here on Combine. One of uh, the burst fire assault rifles that wasn't too bad. I know everybody stuck with the M8A7 during the beta for the most part. This was one of the final ones you unlocked and I thought it was pretty good. I actually will be getting some gameplays with this gun as well. So check that gameplay out in the background. But we're going to get into the commentary here now. And what I'm going to talk about in this final commentary, this final Black Ops 3 beta commentary, is my thoughts and what I've seen so far on Black Ops 3 on YouTube. As I mentioned in the previous commentary, you know, people are already uploading gameplays and things about the maps and guns and weapons on Black Ops 3, the bigger YouTubers that is. And I'm just going to give you guys a few of my thoughts before I get my hands on it tonight. So we're going to get right into it. And let's first talk about the maps, okay? From what I've seen so far on the maps for Black Ops 3. A lot of them look short to medium range. It doesn't look like there's too many long range maps. You know, obviously I haven't played the game yet, but from what I've seen, Redwood, uh, of course, Nuketown, we're gonna get into all that. They all look short range, you know, they look like they're gonna be fast paced, a lot of action. Now, I think that plays for a better game. However, I think that leads, you know, gameplays to get kind of stale here on YouTube. Because everything's going to look the same. You know, everybody's going to be holding the same choke points. Everybody's going to be spawn trapping. I'm not sure how, you know, different the games are going to feel from one to the next. Obviously, the specialist abilities and the weapons and everything like that, the variations that you can use, will lead to more entertaining gameplays. But I feel everybody's going to be making the same moves for the most part. Again, I don't know. I haven't played the maps yet. But after playing these four maps that were for the beta... You know, we've been watching these for the last month, and they start to look all the same. You know, everybody kind of goes the same directions, the same three lanes. I don't know if all the maps are structured the same way, but we shall see. That's my little personal opinion on the map so far. And I will say this. I haven't mentioned this yet, but I saw the new Nuketown. I saw the trailers for it. And, of course, now I've seen gameplay on that map. I've seen it in its entirety, and it just looks like a lot of fun. It looks a little bit bigger than previous Nuketown maps, but... It looks great. It looks fun. The colors pop. There's just so much going on. There's a lot of uh, cool things to do as far as Easter eggs. There's some things that you can do with the mannequins there. Where if you shoot all the mannequins' heads off within two minutes, that all the mannequins come alive and start attacking everybody like zombies. I'm pretty sure this is not going to happen in multiplayer, though. I can see the enemy team uh, you know, saying, hey, let's shoot all the mannequins' heads off in two minutes so we can all have these things run around like zombies while we're trying to shoot each other but that would be cool if it did happen but that is an easter egg on that map so if you guys didn't know that that is true if you shoot all the mannequins heads off on nuketown within two minutes i think they all come alive and attack you like zombies so there's a little cool thing to know but overall the maps look cool they do look cool they look simple it doesn't look too hectic again the spawns it looks great because you know Enemy's team spawns on the other side of the map like it should be. doesn't look like people are spawning all over the place. Uh, again, if people are pushing and holding spawns and spawn trapping, I'm not sure how that's going to work as far as people are just going to start spawning in the middle. That's how it worked in Black Ops 2, but I'm not sure how it works here in Black Ops 3. All right, on to the next thing, supply drops. I know I did see a video on supply drops, and supposedly they are nothing like advanced warfare supply drops which of course is a good thing there are no weapon variants everything is for customization and for right now it's just like when advanced warfare came out the supply drops are not available for purchase they're only available to earn so you have to earn them from getting something called crypto keys or something like that not sure if those are earned in the campaign in multiplayer in zombies they probably are just earned overall by playing the game and you get something called crypto keys and those allow you to purchase supply drops in the black market section of the game and with that you can get anything from uh, camos i think to specialization uh, character loadouts you know things that you can change 
the way your characters look, which is another thing I did see. You know, obviously when we played the beta, everybody looked the same, even though everybody was using a different specialist. But you can now customize that specialist to look different than the base look. So that's also really, really cool that now you can go in there and change your soldier up and make them your own. And of course, um, you know, the camos look really, really cool and that paint shop looks really, really cool. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of videos and tutorial videos on how to make certain camos. And I think that's going to be a big segment for Black Ops 3 is camos. I think there's going to be, you know, a whole different type of YouTube, you know, video out there nowadays where it's going to show people how to make cool camos for your gun. Of course, they already had that with the emblems. So now that you can do that with your gun, oh man, there's going to be some really cool designs coming our way, I'm sure. So that's what I've seen so far on YouTube. Uh, my map that I really want to play, that I've really seen a lot of gameplay on so far, of course, being Nuketown, and also, too, that Redwood map looks really, really cool. Uh, Drifter has some things about wall-running spots on certain maps. And uh, I don't know. The wall-running can get you in trouble in this game. I will say that. Try not to do too much fancy stuff. Because more often than not, it'll just get you in trouble. You're better off just using that to get from point A to point B and use it to flank people. But, you know, if you're trying to do all these crazy, you know, I'm going to walk around the whole map on a wall, you'll most likely not get there and just probably going to get shot. And uh, I think Drifter's proof of that. He had some live stream uh, video up of him playing. He was trying to do that and he just kept dying. So, eh, you know, I would just use it when you need to use it. But anyways, uh, that's about it. I don't think there's anything else I want to cover. Of course, I haven't really seen too much on weapons as of yet. I haven't seen anything uh, extravagant being used. I just heard about the supply drops, saw some things on the maps, and that's about it. I haven't really seen anything about any different play modes or anything like that as well, or perks. No big news. No big score streak news. Eh, I'm just I'm just like you guys. I'm out there on YouTube scouring the the you know search engine, seeing if I can find anything new and interesting before I actually play it tonight. And uh, you know the time's finally here, guys. It's time for me to go to GameStop and go pick up my game. So I'm on my way. You guys, thanks for viewing. Thanks for all your support. I'll see you guys possibly on Sunday with the video. If not, definitely on Monday. Thanks for all your views, subscribes, and likes. This is Nessinator. I appreciate it all. And oh yeah, you guys, check out that new channel art I got up on the channel. Thanks to, uh, to SceneCon for making my channel art banner. Uh, so I'm hopefully going to be making a lot of improvements to the channel this time around with this title. So you guys, thanks for everything. And I'm out. Another win for the Accord, RTB. Setting up for rescue team ambush.